What is going on you guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel here, my name is Brandon and in this video, we are taking a moment to talk about the platform Inverse. Inverse is a constant partner on the channel. In fact, I actually do have a tiny, tiny stake, a little stake in this company. So I'm very vested in their long-term growth. It's a platform that I use each and every day as part of my research regimen. And what's amazing is that it is completely free to use and is going to be free going forward. So I love this platform because it's Canadian focused, not necessarily the Canadian market. You're as we'll see, you get Canadian and US investments. However, they are based in Canada. Again, they are a partner on the channel and you've probably seen them all throughout my videos. Well, I want to take a moment to just go a little bit deeper and show you guys exactly what this platform is all about. There will be a link down below if you want to check it out. If you haven't already, like I said, it is free. It is going to be free going forward. I've spoken with the team on many occasions about their plans and if they're going to be charging users and whatnot. It is literally just a free tool that is only going to get better and better and better with time. But um, let's go ahead and log in. This is going to be the page that you're directed to. I've obviously got my account set up. I'm just going to be blurring out some of this information for privacy reasons, but this is kind of what you're greeted with as the dashboard and what inverse is essentially building is not only a stock tool where you can do research, but almost like a community, like a feed where you can also see what other investors that you're following are talking about, whether it's a stock that they're looking at, whether that's a piece of research, it's kind of becoming this platform that has everything that you need when it comes to your DIY research here as an investor, very brief overview of the page. You got your major indices at the top. And I like the fact that they include the TSX. A lot of them just neglect the Canadian market. Well, like I said, these guys are Canadian, so they do show love for the Canadian stocks, uh, Canadian index that is, and any stock in the North American market you can search here. But uh, down here you have the sector performance. If you're kind of curious about what's happening, within different areas of the market. And then as I mentioned, you have all these different profiles of people that are making posts that you can essentially follow and track. But um, first things first, let's toggle down to this left side and talk about groups. Groups is something that they are in beta. And again, this is a newer platform, so there's gonna be a lot of revisions over the years. But as you can see, the users of Inverse can essentially create groups. And this is a friend of mine, actually, another YouTuber named Robin, another Canadian. You see his group has 70 members. It's a public community. I can feel free to join this group if I want to. I can create a group and essentially structure it around whatever topics we want. Robin, I assume, is going to talk about dividend investing. That's his That's his gig. But um, you get the point. There could be all sorts of different groups to follow. And it's essentially going to be a community online with research on the back end. Now, this portfolio tab is coming soon. So we're just going to glance over that. But the sandbox is a very, very... A useful tool when it comes to screening stocks. And as I mentioned, not only do you get the US stocks, you also get Canadian stocks. Let's just stick with the US market for this example. But if I were going to go, let's, let's clear the screener, for example, uh, give me a second here. But uh, basically, you have all sorts of different things that you can look at. Now, let's just start with the company basics. Let's assume that we want to go here. And we want to look at a stock based on sector, right? So we're in the market for a specific stock based on a specific sector. We're not quite sure what we want to buy. Well, we can add a filter. And as you can see here in this sector tab, and again, this is all free. Sometimes you pay for these screeners online with, uh, you know, behind a paywall, but this is just a beautiful little screener you can use. Uh, let's assume we're looking for a, let's say consumer defensive stock. All right, let's go with consumer defensive, we're looking for a nice dividend stock. I'm going, going to go ahead and close this because this has already been added to our screener. And actually, previously, I did have dividend yield on here. As you can see, the dividend yield is actually already applied. But let's assume I want to add a dividend yield of, you know, let's say I'm looking for a stock with a 2% yield or higher. Well, it's going to load up for a second. And as we can see down here, we are going to be presented with a variety of options. Procter & Gamble, Nestle, the Coca-Cola company, PepsiCo, Unilever, you name it. And this is just a great way to kind of hover down or hone down, I should say, on a various stock that may suit a certain role in your portfolio. Again, this is just the tip of the iceberg on the screener. You can screen for all types of different things. Growth rates, uh, price to sales ratio, current ratio, you name it. That was just kind of like a little sneak peek as to what you can do. What is really fascinating about uh, inverse is that you can essentially build your research notes within the platform. Now, I've got a few notes here that I've basically been working on over the past little while. But if I go into my Apple research one and I just go ahead and click edit here, I've basically done this up as a little test. I put a title here. You can type whatever you want. One of the things that you could always do is you can essentially type in just the uh, dollar sign and then a quote. And if you were to click on that, it's going to take you directly to the page. But this may look kind of like a basic 
point for now, a basic little page for now, right? It's like, oh, well, not, not too much. Well, if I go ahead and click save, my note is updated. What is fascinating is that if I actually go into, for example, Apple stock by clicking on it, or of course we can search it up here by typing Apple or Apple, I should say, but uh, yeah, you can see Apple here. There's two ways to get here, but let's assume we just look up Apple stock. Well, here's your quote page. You're going to have everything that you need, all sorts of data that's compiled for you. Some analyst ratings or kind of like their, you know, whether they think the buy stock is a buy or sell all types of overview, EPS history, basically what you need to know. And of course you can get much more in depth with it when you go to their financials tab. Actually, I'm going to backtrack to the backtrack to the financials tab in just a second. But what I wanted to share with you is as part of this notes feature, if for example, we're looking at a five year chart of Apple, right? And I'm like, you know what, this is something that I'm want to piece together as part of my notes. You can always go to this little dot, dot, dot and click take snapshot. Now what it's going to do, and this works for any type of chart that you're looking at, not just the quote, it could be the research, it could be whatever, but it's going to take a snapshot of this quote. And if we go copy to note, image copy to note. Well, then what happens is if we go back to our notes tab down here, it's immediately populated in. So I can just put here historical performance of Apple, something along the lines of this. Uh, obviously that's just a spelling mistake, but we could essentially compile up a huge little notepad here with all sorts of pictures and quotes and lines that we can add in uh, essentially just to kind of get all of our research in one place. And of course you can have a library to all of this, um, to all of your notes. And this is just private. Like I don't want to share my notes with everybody personally because it's just my own research, but what you can do is you can actually post your notes. And this is where it gets quite fascinating, really diving into this community aspect. If you go to this notes tab over to the right, it's going to show everybody else on the platform, their notes that reference the company Apple. You see this guy named buddy Baker, who I do follow. He's talking about Apple. Um, again, buddy, Eli, basically you can use this to help with your research, but I want to go back to the financials tab because this is where I find myself using it the most. I really like this interactive chart here, basically allowing you to toggle on various different metrics. And again, you can feel free to snapshot this and add it back into your notes tab or your research tab. But like, let's say for example, I'm looking at a company. I'm like, you know what? I just want to see more or less a longer term trend. Let's go ahead and click revenues or total sales. And you can hover over here and see the exact number. Obviously Apple makes a ton, a ton of money, but if I'm curious, like, well, what about if we compare that up to, for example, net income? Well, I can go down here net income available to the common basic shareholders. Well, now you have this basically populated up and any metric that you're looking for, you can add onto this page. If I want to go to the balance sheet and add on, geez, um, you know, long-term debt, for example, well, we can add that all in and essentially compile up this interactive chart. If I want to take a snapshot, well, Hey, I can do this. It's going to take a second to populate. And just like I did for that last one, what I'm going to do is just copy this straight into my notes. And again, if we were to go back, now you have this page here. And of course I put a bunch of like, you know, spaces here, which is why it looks weird, but I could essentially start building a little research report almost with all of the notable things that are important to me as an investor. Now, one more thing is that although I personally do tend to use this for equity research, like stocks, you absolutely can look up things like ETFs. And I know so many people are into index fund investing. Like that's such a big uh, part of their regimen and practice. Actually, let's go with VFV, a Canadian option. As I mentioned, you do have the Canadian options on here, but they do have some very valuable insight when, insights when it comes to ETF investing as well. Again, a very similar sec, uh, page here for the quote, but I love how they can essentially break down the fund for you. You can look at the different sector exposure. If you were to invest in this fund, you can know exactly how much there is. You can see the allocation to the various markets. This is obviously a, US, a s p 500 fund so you're going to be looking at all us stocks for the most part but if you do look in into these various tabs you get a ton of details regarding their holdings this is something where in the past i've had to go to the various pages like literally going to vanguard's page and looking up all the stuff but you get what's called a nice scatter chart here to look at all the different performance of the various uh holdings this is just looking at the top 10 but it's a very very nice chart you can look at all the different holdings down here as well. Uh, again, you can go back to your charting tools if you please. But again, that's just not as much for me. I will note as well, this is just awesome for comparisons. If you go back to the sandbox tool, excuse me, they do have a thing called lists as well. 
And for example, I have a sample list done up here with just FANG stocks. So if I was curious kind of to compare up with the various FANG stocks, well, you can essentially pre-populate your lists. You can create new lists. You can add all sorts of different companies and basically do like a, you know, comparison chart amongst the various stocks that you are looking at. If I wanted to add Netflix and Google to this list, it's as simple as just clicking it and it will all populate into your comparison chart. Again, very easy to just take a snapshot and add that in if you choose to. Honestly, guys, it's for a free tool. Like I said, you, you can't complain. Like there's so many tools that I've used in the past and still do use that, you know, you have to pay behind a paywall to get access to, for example, this insider trading. So for example, if you want to know, Hey, what's happening within the company, they buying, they selling, what are the values of what they're selling, the shares held. A lot of times, you know, this can be tricky to have, but to have one central hub to have this, very, very valuable. There is a charting tool, which I don't use as much. I'm not as much of a technical trader. I'm not really a huge fan of people drawing these trend lines and whatnot, but um, if that's for you, like, hey, there's tons of different things that you can do. You can compare up against different companies, for example, by PE ratio, for example, by revenue. It really doesn't matter, but you can add all sorts of companies. And again, to bring it back to the notes tab, I think this is really where it's gonna be fun because you can click on, for example, someone like Buddy Baker or Barker, excuse me, and just take a look. If it's someone that you follow, you trust, you're like, hey, I'm interested in this guy's opinion. Well, you can basically go ahead and add them to your list. And anytime they make a post, they may be giving you new good stock ideas. They may have great research. Again, this is relatively a new platform in the big scheme of things, but I see the longer term vision with this company. And I think it's actually quite exciting what they are building. And like any platform, like any startup, there's a lot of you know, stuff that needs to come, right? Nothing just comes out and it's perfect without glitches and without anything. And like I said, there's new features coming soon. So it's something that if you want to get in early, there's a link down below, get your account set up, get a little profile created, feel free to start following people, start researching for me again, for it being a free tool, I don't see why you wouldn't add it to your arsenal. And uh, like I said, I just wanted to do a quick little review here, show you guys the ins and outs of the platform, maybe show you something that you hadn't known already if you've already been on the platform. But uh, that's my quick little overview of Inverse here. Like I said, link down below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And as always, of course, we do have our Investing Academy as that first link down below.